Good evening, ladies. Give me one more minute here to get uh, my computer everything up on it. So bear with me just one moment, and I'll we'll kick off the net. AC4YL. All right. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to the YL OpNet. This is Catherine, AC4YL Net Control for this evening's net. We meet every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the Echolink Alara Conference Notes. Be sure to invite all YLs you know to join us. We do ask that only YLs or female ham radio operators check in and participate. The purpose of this net is to encourage you to become and stay active with amateur radio, help each other enhance our operating knowledge and skills, and have fun. During the net, be sure to join us in the NFARL Do Drop In chat room by opening any web browser and going to nfarl.dodropin.org. Just put your name dash call sign in the box and click log in. Why else would like to check in? Give us your call sign, name, and current location. And don't forget that there is a three to four second delay when transferring the link. This is Catherine, AC4YL. We will now begin taking check-ins. Please call now. This is Tracy, M6TP, Mike 6, Tango, Echo, Papa, um, UK, Southwest UK, um, listening in and pleased to join you all again. Good evening. It's Chrissy, KC8UFV, Toledo, Ohio. Good evening. This is Dawn. WA4YL from Hudson, Florida. AE7MB, Margaret, Battleground, Washington, short time. WB1ARU, Anne, Hanover, Massachusetts. Good evening. KC1YL, Brenda, New Haven, Connecticut. Judy, KE7IXI, Scottsdale, KE5LYC, Maryland, from Abbeville, Louisiana. Good evening, ladies and y'all. I wish y'all having a great time, a great day. Okay, let's see who we have thus far. Uh, we have Melanie, AG4YL here in Georgia. We have Tracy, M6TEP from the UK. Good morning, Tracy. It's great to have you back here with us. It's been a while. Maybe uh, somebody should throw something at Jenny and wake her up. <laughs> Just kidding. Let her get a rest. All right, Linda, KC8PKY. I saw you key up, Linda, but I didn't get any audio on you. We do have you uh, checked in, however. Um, so I don't know if you want to check something on your end uh, uh, now as we go through the check-ins, and then we can, um, when we go down the list here, we'll pick you back up, and maybe you'll have your uh, audio working. And Linda is in Indiana. Uh, we have Chrissy, KC8UFV, joining us from Ohio. Welcome back, Chrissy. Good to see you. Dawn, WA4YL, joining us from Florida. Margaret, AE7B, joining us from Washington, and WB1ARU, joining us from Massachusetts. Um, Brenda, I'm confused on your call sign. I think it's KW1YL, joining us from Connecticut. Um, if you want KC1YL, you'll have to fight Lisa in Seminole, Florida for it. Uh, Judy, KE7IXI, joining us from Arizona, and Marilyn, KE5LYC. Nice group. All right. Do we have any other YLs who uh, have not checked in yet that would like to do so? Please call now.
Okay, not hearing anyone. Ah, there's Susie in 8 CGM. Good evening, Susie. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll get your uh, your mic will be up and working. We'd love to hear from you, but uh, we got you in the log, and uh, we'll, as, when we go down the list, we'll pick you up too, and uh, if your uh, mic is up and running, awesome. We'll pick you up then, and uh, so we look forward to hearing from you, and looks like we've got the Bedford, Virginia repeater linked in here this evening, so any YLs out there listening, good evening to you. Feel free to check in uh, anytime you like it, uh, during this net. If there's a, a break in the net and you want to just kind of pop in here because you're in a good spot, um, just and we're in a pause or something, throw your call in there. And we'll uh, acknowledge you and give you a chance to check in. So don't be afraid to check in, ladies, uh, out in the Bedford, Virginia uh, listening area. We'd love to hear you. Sky has just popped in. K-A-7-S-K-Y. Good evening, Sky. Good to see you. And um, very good. I think that is everybody in the list. All right. So far, anyway. So nice group this evening. It's uh, wonderful to have everybody here. We know everybody is uh, keeping their eye out on um, Hurricane Florence that is uh, making landfall in South Carolina uh, very soon. And so... Um, Good news is it seems to be weakening somewhat uh, thus far, so uh, Category 2. So that is good news, but uh, of course ARRL uh, has been busy in preparations in the ham radio community in uh, sending supplies and uh, the like, and of course uh, Hurricane Net's uh, up and ready to keep everybody informed on the air. So please, uh, if you hear those uh, transmissions on the air, please do not interfere with them. Um, they are there for a reason to handle emergency traffic. So um, keep your eye out, of course. So hopefully anybody that's got friends in uh, those areas affected will certainly be uh, staying in touch. Okay. Let me uh, pause for a reset here. Hold on. Okay, so uh, as you may or may not have seen on the Net Facebook group post this evening, I thought what we'd do is um, talk about if any of you ladies here on the net have ever um, assisted or put together a workshop for the Girl Scout radio and wireless uh, technology patch. Um, I would love to hear what you did, how you put it together, kind of how you got started, who you got involved, and how you put it together. Um, because we are looking to hopefully do one here in Georgia and would love to get some ideas on what works. I know Carol Malazzo has done some um, KP4MD. I don't see her on this evening, so I hope to catch up with her. But if any of you ladies have done anything with the Girl Scouts, please share that uh, on the net this evening when we go down the list. I'd love to hear more detail on, on what you've done. Um, and also... Of course, again, with Hurricane Florence going on, that always uh, brings up the subject of skywarn, storm spotting, and Aries. So if any of you gals participate in any of those, have taken any of the certifications, share those experiences with us as well. What got you interested in doing that? Um, did you take a class with the National Weather Service uh, Center in your area? Or did you do any certifications online? Those sorts of things. So we want to hear about those, too, as we go down the list. And then if you have anything else, news, um, announcements, or what you've been up to in ham radio that you want to share with the group this evening, please do that. So uh, KC9YL has just joined us. So good evening, Ann, in Wisconsin. Good to see you. And so we'll go ahead and um, start at the top here. So let me pause for a reset, and then I'll kick it off, and then I'll pass it over to Melanie. So let me reset here. Okay, so uh, AC4YL here. So this past weekend, um, I was able to go out and assist with another VE test session. So that was fun as always. Um, I like that our local club here does them once a month. So lots of folks have an opportunity to take their uh, ham radio exam. 
And so I was able to go out there and help with that. And I think there were um, four four people that tested. Uh, one for their tech, one for their general, and two for their extra. And Edith, um, who had uh, come about three or four months ago to take her technician, uh, passed her extra this past weekend. So uh, it was great to see her and she was ecstatic of having passed that. So hopefully we'll get her on the net one of these days. She has all the information and my contact information too. But she was absolutely excited, and to see that excitement on her face when she passed uh, her test this weekend was awesome. So it was great. Everybody uh, that tested this weekend passed, so that was awesome as well. Uh, so I encourage you, if you are not a volunteer examiner and you would like to help Radio test session. That's awesome. We talked a little bit about it last week. Um, uh, we talked a little bit about it last week about you know participating in a test session and how women that come in to take their test, um, you know, really like to uh, to see women that assist with their test session. So that's really really cool. Uh, so awesome. Um, Margaret had to step out. I don't know if Margaret has one more second, but I actually meant to go to her first because she was short time. Uh, Margaret, are you still here with us? And did you have anything for the group, real quick? Sorry about that. A7 and B, AC4YL. Yes, Margaret, you're still Okay, well, I guess we'll have to pick her up next week or perhaps on the minnow net in uh, a couple hours, a little more than a, a couple hours here. So, oh, man, sorry, I missed that. Um, okay, so as far as the um, Girl Scout thing, I haven't done anything yet, but like I mentioned, uh, we're looking to possibly put a workshop together here in the Atlanta area. So we'll see um, if that works out, and I'm looking to gather some information on that. Uh, as far as the Skywarn and storm spotting, haven't done any of that either, but I've been, we've talked about it before on this net um, and, uh, you know, read up some on it. And it was kind of funny because uh, last night uh, when uh, out to dinner, Melanie and I were out grabbing something to eat, and we had this, uh, the gal that waited on our table um, was, well, actually, she wasn't waiting on us, but she's one of the waitresses in, in a restaurant we go to sometimes, uh, came over and uh, to say hi, and she had mentioned that she loves to watch the Weather Channel, and, of course, it drives her husband crazy, but, uh, you know, we got to thinking, well, she might enjoy a storm spotting class, and so we told her the information, and she wrote it down, and, of course, that opened the discussion to uh, a brief uh, introduction to amateur radio. So we were able to explain to her that we're ham radio operators. So you never know. Um, you know, that topic can go uh, anywhere, and you might just inspire someone to become an amateur radio operator and or at least a storm uh, spotter um, or Skywarn uh, participant. So uh, that's what we have there. Okay. So next we will go over to Melanie to see... Um, uh, what's been going on with her, and if she has anything for the net this evening. So, AG4YL, AG4YL, and the net. Okay, uh, AG4YL, well, AG4YL here. Good evening, ladies. Um, haven't done anything with the Girl Scouts, although I was one. Many, 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 many years ago. Um, and as far as uh, doing Skywarn stuff, it's on the list. Um, but I, I did have something I noticed that came in on my um, one of my ARRL um, emails that came in. The um, W1AW is suspending the scheduled transmissions uh, uh, for Friday. And so um, they say, as part of the ongoing communication efforts with Hurricane Florence, uh, the Memorial Station W1AW will suspend its regular bulletin and code practice transmissions on Friday. It will resume its normal operating schedule on Monday. Um, 
and radio amateurs are reminded, as Catherine had mentioned earlier, reminded to avoid the various hurricane watch net and Saturn frequencies, as well as any state and regional emergency nets at this time to help facilitate communications that may be necessary. Um, also, as Catherine mentioned, ARRL sent some communications packages um, down to uh, Atlanta Airport here, Hartsfield at uh, Jackson um, Airport here in Atlanta to be sent over to um, South Carolina and spread up through that area to help it with the efforts, uh, hurricane efforts in North and South Carolina. Um, if you want to know where the various uh, hurricane watch nets are, um, the uh, the website is uh, www.hotel it, it, it's hwn hotel whiskey november org hurricane watch net hwn org and then the Saturn is uh, www.saturn org and that's spelled um, Sierra Alpha Tango Echo Radio November s a t e r n dot org uh, so you can find out where those frequencies are if you're planning on doing anything this weekend. Um, also this weekend, there are um, three different Kisa parties going on this weekend. Um, so if you want to do a little something uh, in that um, oak, if you want to play a little bit of radio this weekend, the um, uh, let me see if I can find them real quick. Uh, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and I thought there was a third one. Oh, Iowa. Iowa, New Hampshire, New Jersey. So, uh, ladies, if you're looking for a work all states, uh, you might want to uh, check out those. Let me pause for a reset real quick. Okay, let me try that again. God, I hate echo link on the phone. Okay. Um, Don also mentions that um, Route 66 um, stations on the air. Um, the, um, there's some uh, ready sprints, uh, CW Sprint Ladder, uh, Collegiate Kissa Party, the South Africa VHF UHF Digital uh, Contest, Scandinavian Contest, All Africa. Uh, DX contest, and as I mentioned, the Iowa, New Hampshire, and New Jersey QSO parties, um, which will be very uh, uh, good if you are looking for North Dell states, especially if you're looking for different bands to get um, some endorsements, band endorsements, or mode endorsements, because they will be working digital CW and sideband. So just a few things to keep in mind. Um, so that's all I have for the net. Uh, this is ag 4 yl Back to you, Catherine and the net. Okay, very good, Melanie. Thank you very much for uh, that information. It's awesome. So lots of activity on the bands this weekend. So that is uh, always good news. And thanks, for uh, Dawn, for bringing up the... Uh, Route 66 stations on the air. That's a fun event if you, uh, you like to work those uh, stations. That's a lot of fun. All right. Very good. Well, next up is um, Tracy, M6TEP. Tracy, how have you been, and uh, what's new? And uh, it's great to have you here on the net. Have you been uh, doing the amateur radio activities of late? And uh, anything else you'd like to share with the gals here? M6TEP, AC4YL. Oh my goodness, um, good evening, good morning, good afternoon all. It's great to be back on the net again, it's been such a long time. Um, I'm still at work, um, but I, I'm working in a different 
uh, play, so I have a little more time to play with. Um, so I can give you a little idea of what's been going on. Um, my partner and I, who is also a ham, um, have taken part in several contests together um, quite successfully. Um, just some of the, the local RSGB contests and we're highly placed and we've gained a few certificates for that. Um, just Tuesday night gone, I sat my intermediate exam. Um, I think Jenny explained the exam levels over here. We have three levels, the foundation, intermediate and advanced. And um, I'm, I'm currently M6TP, but I will be, as soon as the paperwork comes through, um, my new call sign will be 2 Echo Zero Bravo Kilo Uniform. Uh, that will be my new call. Um, so happy to have passed that one. And um, just to say, I'm, I'm sitting the advanced um, exam end of January next year. So fingers crossed for that one. Um, haven't as yet done anything with Girl Scouts, but we do have um, up and coming special event station in October, I believe early October, um, called Jamboree on the Air. And it's kind of more Scouts, but uh, they do deal with brownies and girl guides as well. And what happens is they invite them along and they give them a go on the air and teach them a little CW and, and stuff like that. Um, and they just get the feel of it. And hopefully later on they'll be interested enough to join and become hams themselves. So that's what we've got going on over this end. Um, so I'll, I'll hand it back to you from M6TP in the group. Okay, very good, Tracy. Well, congratulations on uh, passing that, and best of luck to you on the advance. Uh, that's exciting. It's always fun when you uh, uh, take your exams and pass them. That is really exciting. Sounds like uh, you are staying quite busy, and that's great. But, uh, we're really glad you had a few minutes at least to stay here and uh, visit with us this evening or morning for you. And it's always a pleasure to have you on the net. So thank you so much, Tracy, for being here. And I uh, want we'll to keep out a lookout for your uh, your call sign there, Tracy. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's see who we have next. Next up, uh, Linda, KC8PKY. Linda, how are you, and what's new, and have you done anything with uh, Girl Scouts uh, and Skywarn and Storm Spotting stuff? Uh, but uh, what, do you, what would you like to share with the group this evening, Linda? KC8PKY, AC4YL in the net. Okay, this is KCAPKY. Haven't done anything with Girl Scouts. Um, we had a son, so we were more involved with Boy Scouts, and we did the radio merit badge quite a few times with them. Um, as far as Skywarn, take the training almost every year. Um, and we were very involved when we were in Detroit with the Aries Races group there. So we did all the NIMS uh, courses and uh, that kind of thing. And yeah, we did some spotting. We used to have uh, pretty regular um, Skywarn nets when we'd get warnings. So I've been involved in that. And that's about it, so I'm going to turn it back to you, KCAPKY. Okay, very good, Linda. Um, did you do any of the uh, certification classes, or did you did you just uh, help out with um, the Aries and and Skywarn? Uh, well, back over to you, KC8PKY, AC4YL in the next. Didn't really do any.
any um, certification classes per se. Like I say, we got all the uh, NIM things that you do from um, FEMA online uh, for the Aries races. And uh, we always had, you only have to do the Skywarn every two years, but we always had it every year, so we would take that. Um, and there were some other things that really weren't involved with the Skywarn, but there were other things that if they became available, our racy sky would let us know, and we took several of those. But weather training certifications, no. And with that, back to you, KC8PKY. Okay, very good, Linda. Well, thanks so much for uh, sharing that with the group here and for being on the net this evening. It's great to hear from you, as always. Uh, what's the latest on your tower project? That is working. The tower's up. The antenna's been repaired. I did manage one uh, about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, to get into the uh, meetup with Ann, but the last couple of weeks the the bands haven't been too good around us. Sometimes we're in a bit of a dead zone here in Indiana for some reason, but we do have it up and working. Back to net, KC8PKY. All right, fantastic, Linda. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for being here, and it's good to hear from you. Let's go to Dawn, WA4YL. Dawn, what's been going on with you lately? AC4YL in the group. This is WA4YL. Well, Chris and I installed the radio in his car. And we installed the weather station at his house. And then I installed the radio in my car by myself and hooked it all up at the FTM 100. And I have that up and up running in the car. And I also installed my antenna switch. Found some cables in my dry, didn't even know I had, and just hooked them up. And been having some fun with radio. But the band position is here are very non-existent right now. So it's hard to get any contacts. Back to net control. All right, very good, Dawn. Well, sounds like you guys have been busy uh, putting radios in cars and such. Awesome. Uh, hey, did you ever get that 939 uh, antenna tuner in, or is it still back ordered? It's still back ordered. They told me it was going to be another 30 days, so um, getting my money back and going to get something else or find another antenna tuner or just save up for a new digital HT. I'm very disappointed that it had to happen this way because I was really looking forward to getting that antenna tuner. But to wait another 30 days and not be guaranteed one, I couldn't risk it because I paid cash. Back to you, Catherine. All right, very good, Dawn. Well, for anybody else, so you're aware, at least we learned this at the Huntsville Ham Fest, if you're looking at a uh, an MSJ tuner, um, I think the 939, I don't know if they're having this issue with the 929s as well, but they are uh, behind in building them. So that's why there's a delay in them. Um, so it's an excellent tuner. You know, the demand is higher than they can keep up with putting them together, so... Uh, they do have some work to do, and I know they're cranking them out as fast as they can, but 
you know, on the other hand, you'd rather them at least uh, take the time that they need to take to do it right so they don't have a rush through and send them out and then they have issues. So, um, you know, Dawn, you, you know, might want to wait. You know, you'll certainly get one. Again, there's just no uh, certainty on the time. But, of course, you know, if you can't wait, uh, you know, for finances, of course, you can always uh, put the money aside and, and wait and purchase it later, but uh, definitely a great tuner if anybody is not familiar with the uh, auto tuners. Those are cool. Check them out. Uh, they have uh, huge memory banks and uh, make tuning a, a, a breeze. Uh, so check them out. All right. Thanks, Dawn. It's good to hear from you. And let's see who's next uh, going down the list here. Um, and WB1ARE. You, Anne? Uh, wow, um, <laughs> I don't know if you've uh, got, been in touch with Nisi at all, but apparently uh, I saw your note in the do drop in chat about gas explosions, and I had to do a quick search on that because I had not heard that up in Nisi's area. So I don't know if you've been in touch with her at all, but, uh, you know, tell us how you're doing and what's new with you, and uh, if you've been in touch with her, if she's uh, doing okay. If she was uh, one of the, you know, evacuated or she's okay there. Uh, and anything else you want to And uh, the hams were much more welcome in the emergency center than they are right now. Uh, that's a story for another day and another time. I do want to do a quick report on last night's uh, YL meetup, which was on 40 meters. Very successful. We had um, five of us, finally. Uh, Things kept getting a little better uh, as time went by. Uh, we had um, Oregon share with the group uh, WB1ARU AC4YL and the net. North Carolina and Massachusetts. So uh, that worked out really well and uh, we had fun. We were on for most of an hour, so one between one and another. So if you don't make it at right at the start of the time, which is 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Mountain, 6 o'clock Pacific. If you don't make it right then, uh, come in whenever you can. And I think I'm going to send out blasts on uh, Facebook and uh, emails and let people know that, and while off page and so forth, and let people know that we're going to try using 40 for a while and see if that works out better, um, because 20 has been so hard to work. But anyway, that's my soapbox for tonight. And no, I am not near where the gas explosions are, but Nisi is, and that may be why she's not on. Uh, this is WB1ARU. Okay, very good, Ann. Well, sounds like uh, you had a nice, successful YL meetup then, and wow, went on for an hour. That's fun. It's nice when you, you guys can stay connected that long, especially on HF with current band conditions. So that's exciting. So congratulations on that for sure. Um, but yeah, just uh, for those of you that may not be aware, there were uh, I just pulled this up on the news uh, evacuations order after gas explosions in Lawrence, Andover, and North Andover. Massachusetts, um, there were dozens of explosions and fires. There was an issue with high-pressure gas main. Um, anybody who has gas service from Columbia Gas is being told to leave their homes until further notice. Teams uh, will be going block by block to evacuate affected areas. So uh, just wanted, in case you weren't aware, um, that that's what's going on with that. And I'm sure you can uh, search uh, for more information online if uh, you so desire. All right. Um, let's see. Next up, Brenda, KW1YL. Brenda, how are you? Uh, what's new? And uh, what would you like to share with the group this evening? Please go ahead, AC4YL in the net.
this is Brenda, K-W-1-Y-L. Did I really say K-C? My first sign was K-C-1-E-O, and my second one was A-C-1-E-J, so I guess those are not totally gone, but yes, it's K-W-1-Y-L. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, well, what I want to say is I had a really great weekend because I went to Boxborough for the first time, and I got to meet some of the YLs from this net and from the other net that I listen to on WebSDR, which is the uh, Wednesday morning 80-meter net. I don't have HF, but I listen. And there were nine of them there that I knew from the two nets, and I get to meet six. Didn't get to talk that long because everybody was dashing here and dashing there. There was so much going on that I do get to chat briefly with, with, with six of them, and then there were three others that I saw I, I, but I did not get to talk with because I got to speak. Uh, Anne invited me very kindly to speak at, about my Makerspace um, project at the YL Forum. And so I talked about that, and it was good to be able to do that, but I got carried away, talked too long, and they all went dashing off to another forum. So I didn't get to meet the other three. So I'm hoping to meet them at, at Nearfest. But I had a great time. I went to a lot of great forums. And one of the ones was about being a net control, uh, which I am one on, on uh, UHF net. So uh, I learned a lot from that that I really needed. Some of the other forums were interesting, but I'm not really ready to like put them to use. But I'm absorbing information from the other ones, Raspberry Pi and Solid State and things like that. So anyway, it was just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. And I'm just still kind of recovering from that. So uh, that's basically my my story for today is that, oh, and, and about the HF as far as home, um, we are going to make our own, uh, my husband Rich and I are going to make uh, a uh, um, our multi-band lawn wire antenna and string it out to a neighbor's tree. And at Boxborough we got a, uh, an insulator that screws onto the roof that we're going to use for that. We're going to make our own un un. So that's what we're planning. We're never home, though. That's the trouble. We're just never home. We're at Nick Haven all the time. So that's why we're still not at HF. But anyway, we will be. So that's it. Um, so KW1YL, back to Net Control, Catherine AC, KW1, AC4YL. KW1YL, back to AC4YL. Thanks. Bye. All right, very good, Brenda. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up Boxborough. I forgot to even uh, ask Ann how uh, that went as well. So um, very good. So glad you made it and got to meet with the gals there. And I know that uh, several people uh, enjoyed your uh, your presentation on the makerspace there too. I saw some comments floating around Facebook. So fantastic. It's really good to hear from you, Brenda. And uh, as always, staying busy. <laughs> awesome. Um, Ann, did you want to add anything about uh, Boxboro this past weekend? WB1ARU, AC4YL in the net. Well, I was only there on Friday night and Saturday. I had to leave Sunday morning very early, so I missed Sunday. But strangely enough, uh, no YLs came by the uh, table on Sunday uh, Signed the guest book, which is kind of strange. But anyway, um, we did have a, a good number sign our guest book on Saturday. We chatted with a lot of gals, uh, passed out information, uh, took in one membership, and uh, I've done more other years. But um, yeah, I talked to a lot of people and uh, got them acquainted with uh, the group and so forth. So it was fun. The uh, forum time was great. I did not realize when we started that, that at 3 o'clock that there were going to be such popular uh, competition at 4. I had, I guess, should have looked at the schedule a little more carefully. They told us we had an hour and a half, but we overlapped with some popular forums. So it was kind of disappointing, but that's the way it goes sometimes. We'll work that glitch out for next year, and so it won't happen again. But it was great to have... Uh, friend to talk and the gals all found it very interesting and certainly was something different and uh, of course we did our usual introductions so that was 
that to me is one of the best parts also when everybody gets to talk about what they do or what they don't do or how they got into the hobby and met some really new new faces, interesting gals. So, yep, that's my box star report for you. Fantastic, Ann. Well, that's great. Glad you had a great time and, uh, again, got to, to talk to some gals out there. I know it's always nice. And one of these days we'll make it up there and and visit the gals up in that area. That would be awesome. Who knows? Maybe next year. We'll see how that goes. All right. Next up is uh, uh, Judy, K-E-7-I-X-I. Judy, how are you? What's been going on? And, uh... Have you uh, done anything with the uh, Girl Scouts uh, or Skywarn or Storm Spotting? Uh, anything else you want to share with your group? K7IXI, AC4YL in the net. Oh, good evening, ladies. This is Judy, K7IXI. Well, I've been fighting one of those nasty colds. Um, sorry, I missed last Thursday. Even had a cold on my birthday, which was last Thursday. Um, getting better, still got a little coughing going on. But anyways, no, never got involved in the Girl Scouts. Um, we have two boys, and we did a lot of baseball with them from a t-ball all the way through high school. So it's been fun doing that. But um, yes, I've been involved in uh, Skywarn, uh, following the net and being a sky spotter. Uh, the season we, of monsoon we just finished up. It's finally um, a little drier out, but still warm. Um, and I've got some kind of neat, wonderful news. I think I told all of you ladies in the summer we had a class, and one of our gals didn't pass. Well, this past week, and she did pass. And I, I met up with her m on Monday at our neighborhood aquatics pool, and uh, uh, she is now a new Ham. So, and the coolest thing is, she's 80 years old. And that's, she said, that's something I've always wanted to do. It's just taken me a little bit, bit of time. So it was so nice to hear she finally um, passed, and uh, I enjoyed um, also um, enjoyed hearing and visiting with her. And I did mention to her about our Thursday night um, net that we have here. So she said one of these Thursdays she's going to chime in. So um, I think that would be wonderful. And let's see, what else? Um, one last thing. Uh, we put together, a, a, if I'm saying it right, a ubitix. Um radio. We um, It lights up, but uh, we could hear people, but we didn't make any contacts. We haven't yet. So I think we got a little bit of work to do on it. So um, that's pretty much what I have. Um, and uh, otherwise, um, I guess I'm going to send it back to you, Catherine, um, Judy, KE7IXI. All right, very good, Judy. Well, sounds like you're staying busy as always, and uh, yeah, that's awesome, the gal, uh, See, it's never too late to get your amateur radio license. If it's something that you want to do, you can do it uh, at any age, and that is fantastic. We'd love to have her on the net. So um, I don't know how close she is geographically to you or if you have her contact information, but uh, perhaps you can help her get set up on Echo Link if she's not already set up. And uh, we'd love to ha love to hear her on the net for sure. That is great. Um, before I forget, uh, Janice has joined us, K4IJK. Good evening to you. And Linda typed in the uh, Echo Link chat, KC8PKY. If anybody needs a Michigan contact, the Motor City Radio Club is having a special event station uh, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on 14.260 and 7.225. So if you need Michigan in your log, they'll also be on the air. And plus, it's a special event station, and those are always fun to work. So thanks, Linda, for that info. Great to see that as well. All right. Let's see who is next here. Um, 
Maryland, K-E-5-L-Y-C. Maryland, how are you, and uh, uh, what would you like to share with the gals this evening? K-E-5-L-Y-C, this is Marilyn. Uh, good evening, uh, good morning to some. I am doing fine. Um, we had our club meeting last week, and we talked about um, hurricane preparedness. But one thing I would like to share is that kind of caught a lot of our attention was whenever there's a hurricane and you're evacuating, please make sure you check your spare tire because we always forget to check our spare tire to make sure it have enough airing in it. So that's one thing that it emphasized, and I was kind of like, wow, that's great. But anyway, I've been doing great. Um, I brought one lady to the uh, meeting, and she said she's going to start studying for her technician. And also my uh, la the ladies in the club over here don't want to get on air, and they don't really have a YL net. But I thank um, you all for letting me join you all on Thursdays to be able to listen and to learn. So back to Net Control, Catherine, KE5LYC. Well, thank you so much for being here, Marilyn. It's always great to have you here with us, and you are always welcome. All YLs are welcome here on the net to check in, participate, and uh, have some fun here with the gals. Uh, we enjoy getting together and visiting for a while. It's nice to take a break from the day and play some radio, right, and uh, actually hear some other YLs on the air. So that's great, Marilyn, and I'm sure that... Uh, You'll be a big help to that gal you brought with you to the meeting because it's nice to have, um, when you're a female, it's nice to have another female there uh, to help you along when you have questions or need help. Although I do have to say hats off to uh, the OMs because uh, most of them are very supportive and helpful and encouraging as well. In fact, there's uh, probably numerous OMs listening into the net right now. So thanks, Marilyn. We're glad you're here, too. And uh, when that other gal that uh, you brought uh, to the meeting gets her license, we'd love to hear from her right here also. And uh, if you're looking for other YL nets, I uh, don't think you were on last week. Um, there's another YL net that meets on Echolink, but it's a different node. Uh, ladies on the air uh, on Tuesday evenings. So if you're interested in that, um, Barb, I'm trying to see if I got her call here real quick. Give me a second. I want to say it's KD0 something. Let me see if I have it in my list that I can actually see. Um, no, not at the moment. But I'll see if I can find it and uh, get you that info. But she runs that net on um, Tuesday night. So you could... Oh, thanks. Uh, K0, is it K0? WAU or KD0 WAU, uh, but uh, yeah, Barb, she runs uh, runs that net on Tuesday evenings, and I'm sure she would love to have you uh, join there too. Uh, yes, KD0 WAU, Barb. You can send her an email at KD0 WAU at ARRL dot net if you want more info. Uh, on that net, and uh, she has to grant you access to get on that uh, Echo Link station through their repeater there. So just let her know, give her your call sign, and I'm sure she'll set you up if you're in. Thank you very much for that information, Catherine. Uh, I really appreciate it. I wrote it down, and I will get in contact with, with her. Uh, this is KU5 LYC. Back to Net Control. All right. Very good, Marilyn. Yeah, I think I tied, timed out right at the end on my Echo Link connection. Uh, I have a timer set so I don't time out the repeater. So very good. Glad you got that info. And of course there's always 
We get uh, on HF the wild meetup on Wednesdays with Ann as well. So lots of wild activity throughout the week. That makes it fun. So if you can't make one, you can make another one. And uh, if you don't make this net and you're like, oh, darn, you know, it's 930 uh, Eastern, uh, um, you know, 830 Central, and you're like, man, I missed that net, uh, just come back at 1030 Eastern, 930 Central for right here on Alara for the minnow net. You can join Margaret on Thursday. So lots of nets going on. Uh, four YLs. Okay. Um, let, me, let me pause for reset here. Uh, one more thing, too, Marilyn. I see you are connected in through the NF4GA-R repeater. Um, if you are able to for the the uh, net at 10:30 on Thursdays, it's, it's on. Uh, or this one, you need to connect through the Alara conference mode. Um, of course, you know this one you can usually connect to the NF4GA repeater if you can't get on Alara. But for the Minnow net, you need to be through the Alara conference node. So, um, okay. So let's see. Next up. Uh, Susie, NHCGM. Susie, any luck with that mic? We'd love to hear you uh, uh, say hi and hear from you. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to share with the group this evening, NHCGM, AC4YL, and the group. All right there, Susie, no problem, uh, but if you do get it fixed, we'd love to hear from you, so come on in any time. Uh, next up, Sky, K-A-7-S-K-Y, how are you, and uh, what's going on out your way? And uh, have you done anything with Girl Scout, Skywarn, or Storm Spotter? K-A-7-S-K-Y, AC4YL with the group. Well, I don't see Sky in the list anymore, so maybe she had to step out and do something else. Just making sure. No, I don't see her, so maybe she had to disconnect, or maybe she had some Internet trouble and got kicked off. Who knows? Uh, we'll keep an eye out for her and see if she makes it back. And KC9YL, how are you? What's been going on up your way? And uh, have you done anything with Girl Scouts uh, radio and wireless uh, patch program or Skywarn sword spotting? cc 9 yl AC4YL with the group. Uh, she might not be able to do Echolink. Um, she was on the uh, NFARL, um, said she's in a hotel with a poor connection. Oh, thanks, Ann. Yeah, I, I remember now that she said that. She did mention in the, <clears throat> in the chat. In fact, I don't see her in the list either, so she may have not been able to maintain a solid connection. So thanks, Ann, for uh, reminding us of that. And um, so we'll go to Carol, VA3WHU. How are you doing? Good evening, ladies. Victor Alpha 3, Whiskey Hotel Uniform. Yes, I'm, uh, I, we have our can worn um, here in Canada. 
Um, the course is always on at the same time as Dayton, Ohio. So we didn't make it this year because it was my first year down at Dayton, but we usually go to it. It's, uh, it's held in uh, Oakville, Ontario here. Um, so Brian and I both have our can worn. Um, Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. I haven't done anything in that regard with them, no. Um, and um, the only other news I have to tell you is I talked to my friends on CQ100 tonight. These are people that have a system set up that's on Windows XP or Windows 10 that you're able to communicate with people through a, a program that you can get called CQ100. It's, a, it's a, like an imitation radio for people that are ho house, don't have um, either in the house or don't have an antenna anymore or are in an apartment or, you know, older people that don't have uh, any systems to be able to do uh, HF with. So uh, the CQ100 works quite well. So I talked to them tonight for an hour between 7 and 8. Then, of course, I came on here. Two ham fests to speak of. Yeah, one's in Lancaster, New York, um, and the other one is uh, London, Ontario this weekend. So two ham fests this weekend. Uh, Brian says he's not going to go because he doesn't need anything. He actually don't need anything. But uh, whether we'll go, whether we don't go, I don't think I'm going to go to the U.S. one due to health regulations if I have... Uh, a medical emergency um, over in New York State with no medical coverage um, would cripple us financially. So it's probably not a good idea to go stateside at this time. But uh, thinking about going to the London, Ontario, well, I'm not sure yet. All the handfests have put their admission prices up to, I mean, it's a dollar, but a dollar is a dollar. So uh, it was $7 admission uh, per person last year. This year it's $8. Um, that's okay if they got like snacks, like coffee or tea or, you know, stuff like that that they have. Some fan fests do. They have like free coffee and stuff, but uh, I can't remember with the London one if they had any like a refreshment stand. And some people put uh, like a Tim Hortons booth in there and they uh, have uh, big carafes of coffee and donuts and different things like that for the public to enjoy. So that's about all from Ontario here. We had a beautiful day weather-wise and... Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody uh, in the path of this hurricane uh, this evening. Over. All right, very good, Carol. Well, we're really glad to hear from you this evening and glad that uh, you and the other half are doing well. And, uh, yeah, I understand about going to... Ham fest sometimes when you don't really need anything, you kind of weigh which ones you go to, and sometimes it's more fun to just go ahead and go to the larger sized ones, uh, you know. But um, you know, it's it's fun too to go and check out the swaps area and see what people uh, have that they don't use anymore. Sometimes you can find some good deals, but uh, you know, when you don't need something, you just kind of have to weigh in on it, right? But uh, it's good to hear from you. And, uh, yeah, you guys uh, have can warm up, worn up there. And I know um, Rosie, who's been on this net before, VE4YYL in, in uh, Manitoba has done, um, uh, has been highly involved in that uh, and activities out that way. So uh, that's great and fantastic to hear from you as always, Carol. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, next up is Janice, K4IJK. Janice, how are you? And Looks like you're back up in uh, Rhode Island now and uh, no longer in Florida, I take it. So uh, what's new with you? How have you been? K4IJK, C4YL with the group. Well, I see Janice, uh, is, it looks like she's still connected here, but I don't know if she may, be, may have stepped away. So, uh, Or Janice, if you're transmitting, uh, not getting anything on this end. So 
Uh, if you'd like to come back in, tell us how you're doing. Um, what's new? K4IJK, AC4YL with the group. Okay, not hearing anything. No copy on Janice there, but um, all right. I think that is everybody here that I see. Do we have any other YLs uh, listening in on the net that would like to check in this evening? Uh, please call now with your call sign and first name and current location. Uh, did somebody key up on the K4LYL repeater, or was there a, a, a YL there, AC4YL here? Okay, not uh, hearing anyone that time. Just want to make sure I didn't uh, miss somebody. Okay, very good. Um, all right, I think we hit everybody on the list then. Does anybody uh, here uh, have any topics or anything that you'd like to uh, ask uh, on the net this evening or anything else that you had to share that you thought of uh, during the course of the net? Please call now, AC4YL. WA4YL. Please go ahead, Dawn. Yeah, I, I when I when I, it took a lot for me to cancel that audit tonight. But when they told me another thirty days and that they couldn't guarantee a shipment I was like nervous, and that's why I can't hold it. But um, next time, if they do make more more of those nine three nines or whatever they're called, I'll get it. But I just felt a little leery and didn't know what to do. So I did the best thing I could do, was I didn't know what was going to happen in the, in the next thirty days. And that's a long time for me to wait, because normally I don't have patience to wait long enough. Yeah, Dawn, well, really nothing to worry about with that. Um, MFJ is just behind in manufacturing those um Tuners. That's the that's the reason why pretty much nobody had them at the ham fest. Um, or if they did, they had like one or two that they already had in stock. So, um, you know, in fact, we heard that from several vendors there that uh, they were having a hard time getting any because MSJ was so far behind in putting them together. Uh, so that's what's going on there. Um, and of course, the vendors can't guarantee a shipment because that just depends on when MFJ gets them out and what order they're shipping them out to who. So that's uh, no doubt why they couldn't guarantee that they would get a shipment yet because they don't know for sure from MFJ just when they're ex going to uh, be expecting getting more in. So it's all you know, it's it's different. It's not it's, it's different from a mass produced uh, machine made product. A lot of the products that MSJ particularly manufactures are done by hand by people that uh, work there. So 
needless to say, things done by hand take longer than automated systems. So um, that's just what was going on there, Dawn. But, you, you know, you have to do whatever you feel is best, uh, of course. So no worries there. Um, Donna, WB9TFF, has joined us. Uh, Donna is up in uh, Wisconsin, I believe. So, uh, Donna, we just finished going down through the list of check-ins and letting everybody come in and say hi and um, share if they had any uh, news announcements or what they've been up to in ham radio. But uh, we were also asking if uh, anybody here has done anything with the Girl Scout radio and wireless patch, either uh, assisting with the workshop or putting one together. Uh, or if uh, anybody has done anything with Skywarn or Storm Spotting as far as certifications uh, and the like there. So if you'd like to come in and say hi to the group, and if there's anything else that you'd like to uh, to share with us here, we'd love to hear from you. WB9TFF, AC4YL in the group. Well, Donna, I'm not sure if you're transmitting or not, but uh, I didn't catch anything on this end. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to you one more time because I uh, we'll just want to make sure we don't miss you. WB9TFF, AC4YL in the group. Okay, I'm um, not copying anything from Donna, but that's okay. We have you checked in here, Donna, and uh, hopefully you can hear us uh, nonetheless. But um, anyway, we are going to go ahead and wrap it up. Does anybody else have anything for the group? Uh, and if not, we'll close her out for the evening. AC4YL here. KC8TKY. Go ahead, Linda. Okay. I just wanted to mention that Motor City Radio Club Special Event Station is for the 86th year that that club has been in existence. And that's the one we used to belong to back in Detroit. And that, with that, I'll turn it back to Matt, KC8PKY. Well, that's awesome, Linda. It's nice to have a club that's been around for such a long time. Do you uh, do you know what call sign they'll be operating under? Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have told you that. It's Whiskey 8 Mike Radio Mike. KC8 PKY. All right. Very cool, Linda. Well, thank you so much for uh, for sharing that with the group and the details on that special event. So, yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, folks, try to work them. Um, who knows, maybe they'll have some special event, uh, special um, QSL cards they can send out. I don't know. But regardless, uh, get them in your log. That's uh, that's quite an accomplishment for a club to have been in existence that long. Very good. Okay, anybody else have anything for the group this evening? Please call now, AAC4YL. All right. Not hearing anyone, but I think uh, Melanie AG4YL is hunting through her email trying to find a... Um, a groups.io uh, thing that came in from our local club that had a link in it or something she wanted to share with the group here. So let's give her a minute here to uh, find it real quick. And uh, then after that, I think we uh, can close it out. So let's just stand by for a minute and give Melanie a chance to find that. AC4YL here. 
Okay, um, HE4YL here. Good evening again. Um, so, something that we talked about a couple times, in fact, Nisi mentioned it, um, about the um, FT8 call. Um, there's a, a, a sort of a modified FT8, if you will. Um, Jordan Scherer, uh, Kilo number November four, Charlie Radio Delta KN four CRD developed um, the new FT eight call, and Nisi had mentioned it. He's actually a member of uh, North Fulton Amateur Radio League, and he has a um, uh, groups dot io uh, reflector and. He mentioned a new uh, version, which he really, really um, likes talking about. This guy is really neat. Um, there's a website, ft8call.info. There's no W3 in front of it. It's just ft8call.info. If you're interested in finding out more about it, um, it'll tell you a little bit about um, the frequencies and some of the changes to the new update and um, again there's an FT8 call at groups.io there's also a um, while ops at groups.io join groups.io if you're not already a member and go into the find a group and do a search you can look for um, first of all for those of you that aren't familiar it's very much like Yahoo groups, except like a ton better. Um, everybody has pretty much migrated uh, from Yahoo groups. So, um, again, the group name uh, for that is FT8 Call. Our group name, and for all wilds, not just from this net, but all wilds is wild ops. And check out those things right there. But FT8 Call is a more of a conversational type of uh, FT8 digital mode. It's really neat. You can also uh, qu query uh, YouTube with the keyword FT8 call and there's a lot of videos out there on that too. So I just want to mention that because that topic has come up on this net. Um, Nisi I think most recently uh, was talking about it and if you want to know more about it um, also, one of these old things that came up, well, let me go ahead and pause for a reset just to make sure I don't time anything out and do anything weird. Okay, AG4YL returning. Um, one of the guys also had a thread on the um, NFARL um, reflector, which is also in groups.io. There's a lot of interesting stuff on there. You don't have to be a member, and you don't have to live here in North Atlanta. They have some really good stuff on there, and I often share things that they bring up there. But one of the threads was always send in your log. And um, um, they, they had a little conversation going back and forth about always send in your log because you never know. And this most recent one, um, one of the hams um, made one contact uh, in the 2015 Georgia CUSO party. One contact and um, North Fulton Amateur Radio League is very much into promoting the Georgia CUSO party and he got a certificate from, from NARFL, first place single operator, low power. So. That was one of those funny little things, but the lesson in this thread is um, even if you only make a few contacts, um, send up your log to, I mean, if you just make three contacts with pick a QSO party, um, send your log up to them and you'll be surprised. There's a lot of guys in our club that just made a, like less than a handful helping out these guys, sending out the log, what the heck, just for fun make contact with them. I've done the same thing. I didn't bother to send in my log. I logged them. I put them on LOTW and put it in my logbook. But 
never sent it in to that QSO Party's website. I'm going to from now on. A lot of these guys got some really nice looking wallpaper um, taking placing quite well uh, in their uh, in their group uh, in their uh, mode category and power category. So I just thought I'd share that with the group. It's kind of fun, um, you know. Have some fun with it and get some wallpaper. It's kind of neat. Everyone likes some of these these uh, certificates are really nice looking too. And uh, also visit the new ARRL contest. Um, I, I want to say it's contest.arl, something like that. But visit the new ARRL contest page. There's a place in there where you can pop in your call sign, and it'll generate a certificate. In fact, I have the link here. But before I time out, I'll um, I'll go ahead and return this back to Net Control, and I'll get the uh, link posted. I have it saved here on my phone. This is AG4 Well. Back to Catherine and the Net. All right, very good, Melanie. Well, thanks for that uh, wealth of information for the gals here. We appreciate it. And uh, I've got the FT8Call.info website in the uh, Echo Link chat, and then hopefully uh, Melanie will be able to get the other link in here in just a minute. Um, does anybody here have any questions or comments for the group? Please call now, AC4YL. This is WA4YL. I'm going to say my 33. Hope everybody has a good rest of their week and a great weekend. Good night. Okay, very good, Dawn. It's uh, good to have you here uh, with us, and thanks so much for being here. And I only got that link here, but uh, I was typing it in and left out part of it, so I'm going to fix it here. All right, there we go. Got the full link in here. Um, that's where you can go and uh, put your call sign in and. Uh, search for any certificates that uh, you've won in any contest you've participated in and submitted your log. Um, they, you can uh, download the PDF and print it and uh, frame it if you like, you know, put it uh, wherever you want. So it's um, contestplural.arl.org slash certificates plural.php. So it's in the chat as well. So check it out. All right. With that, uh, we'll go ahead and close it out this evening. Please feel free to come back in an hour and five minutes or so for the Minnow Net right here on the Echo Link Alara Conference notes. Don't forget to visit and post to our Wild.net Facebook group and continue net topics and questions there in between weekly nets. We also encourage you to participate and post all ham radio-related questions, adventures, etc. Uh, in the Wild.ops.io group page. We'd like to thank Lauren, KC9ZHV, for live streaming and recording this net whenever possible and making it available to all through YouTube. We'd also like to thank Alara for the use of this Echolink conference note, the North Bolton Amateur Radio League for their do drop in chat room, and all who are linked and listening for your ongoing support of this net, YLs, and OMs alike. This is Catherine, AC4YL, closing out the YL op net and returning the Alara conference note back to normal use. 33 ladies, thank you so much. Have a safe week, and we'll see you next Thursday.